go ahead and take an actual look at a print we did with the half tones from our Simple Seps plugin. You would see that we're holding a lot of detail. In fact, I'd go ahead and say that this is a high end design. You can see the detail in this print. Incredible fashion design. Here we have our black film printing out. Everything auto separated in Simple Seps, half tones generated automatically, then printed right out to your black film on an inkjet. Here we are washing the screen out, able to hold all those dots on a 230 mesh screen. Here we are setting up the t-shirt and going ahead and printing. You'll see that we're holding all of our dots. Very high quality, high detail, half tone printing without a $500 or $1,000 rip. And right now, Simple Seps comes with the Mega Pack 1 from t-shirtclipart.com. That's over 500 hand-drawn monochrome design elements. You can go ahead and start creating and separating with half tones, high-end designs that have the type of look you see on the retail stores and on the shelves today that the kids go crazy over in the high schools. Very easily and very simply with the art and the Simple Steps plugin. Blow your clients away before your competition does with the Simple Steps plugin and the monochrome art. <laughs>
we'll let simple steps get that started and then I'm going to go ahead and tweak that but we know that if we set up our white base I'll go to simple steps and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to create a solid white base so I'm not going to go with tinted I'm going to go with untinted and I'm going to click on generate under base but actually I'm just going to come down here to create under base and then I'll let simple steps process that for me so I don't miss anything so I just go ahead and click here and simple steps will set up an underbase for me as you can see here and once this underbase is um, set up I can go ahead and tweak this and we'll actually choke this even though it's raster we'll go ahead and choke it to make it a little bit easier to hold registration on a manual press dealing with something this detailed now once that's finished processing I'll go ahead and minimize simple steps here and I can see that I've got my underbase set up here and what I want to do is we're gonna go ahead and select a few things and change some things here so that we've got a better base for the design we're working on. The first thing I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and ungroup everything and I'm going to delete the flames here. I don't want to hit that twice. I want to hit that once so I've got like a smoky flame effect on the t-shirt. Then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and select my vector objects and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my textures and stuff in here and I believe we already did that when we converted to our base but I want to make sure yeah we got rid of the textures. I don't want those textures in my under base. All I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and left click, hold down, lasso, select everything I've got in here that's vector being relating to my text and make sure we got just that and I can see that I did get that. But what I want to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and I know there's three objects here so I'm going to hold down shift and alt. I've got my black text here. Now I've got another text with no outer color. I've got my third text and I've got my fourth text. I've got four objects selecting holding down shift alt and just clicking you go from the top object and then select the object beneath it. I went down four times and I've got just my vector there so I'm gonna go ahead and take that then I'm gonna hold down shift again and click on my no rip no problem and I'll go ahead and take these and I'm gonna cut these just for a minute now you gotta be careful when you cut these because if you pick, copy anything else you'll lose them but of course I could go back to page one and get them and all I'm gonna do is select all of my monochromes here that I've got here and let's see if we get everything here and I'll go ahead and move this and just hit Control Z to make sure I got everything. I'll hit Control Z and I got everything. I'm just going to right click and turn all of this to a CMYK black. Right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste in my text back into my design. But once again, what I'm going to want is where I've got black is going to stay white. So I'm not going to want that black that's in there converted to a base. So right here I'm set to build my base. But what I want to do is I want to choke this back so we'll go back into our black outlines and then some of the hand-drawn gray scales that we've got because of the hand-drawn that we look that we have in the monochrome will pop off of the white underbase a little bit better. So that being the case, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and left click here and select everything and I've got a little script that I use called Choke It and I've got everything selected here and I'll go ahead and move this and hit Control Z make sure that I moved only what I wanted to have selected. I'll hit Control Z I've got everything there. I'll go ahead and open Choke It. And this macro, Choke It, is actually an earlier version. There will be a release of this free on the site pretty soon just to do simple quick chokes. But I'll go ahead and click this and I'll automatically choke this. So I'll click Choke It and we'll let that process. Now once choke, is, choke It is finished, what it actually does is it creates another image on top of my white base. And I'll right click here and turn that to a red. And that's actually a monochrome bitmap, and you want to convert that to CMYK black, but I just like to verify that I got a choke. And if we zoom in here, you can see I got basically a perfect one-point choke going around my entire graph. Now, if I wanted to bring it back further, I could just chick click choke it again, but I want to convert it to a CMYK black before I do that. So now that I've got my choke base set up, I've got everything set up and color separated for my high-end film fil output here. I want to go ahead and take this choke it that I created here on top, and we'll go ahead and cut that. Then I'll want to select all of my graphics that I have here. We'll go ahead and delete those and then we'll just make sure we paste choke it back in and I'll right click because this is a monochrome for my white base. So now very easily I've gone from creating a high end design to having all of my design set up with my white base and my halftones ready to print directly in Corel Draw. And of course the next thing I would do 